How many more dimensions might there be outside the four of space and the one of time? And how do we even begin to imagine them? In 1905, Albert Einstein presented evidence for a special theory of relativity. We live in a cosmos with four dimensions of space-time because the cosmic speed limit of light intimately links space to time. We attribute motion in the presence of a big body, such as a planet, to a force of gravity rather than its curvature because we are unable to discern these four dimensions. But the peculiarities of our solar system have long fascinated astronomers and physicists. They are most interested in learning about dark matter. Even though several phenomena have been discovered, the mystery of dark matter has largely not been answered. To satisfy their curiosity, a team of scientists investigating dark matter just found a gateway leading to the fifth dimension, and this discovery is set to forever transform how we view the universe. How was the portal found by the experts, and what impacts will it have on the world? Come along as we look at how scientists just announced finding a portal to the fifth dimension. Astronomers and physicists have long struggled to grasp dark matter. Scientists have not fully understood the mystery of dark matter, despite it making up the majority of our universe. The 75% of dark matter that has not yet been observed may be explained, according to scientists, by finding the fifth dimension. Our beliefs about the physical cosmos are largely supported by the idea of dark matter, although we know very little about it. Dark matter, which makes up the vast majority of our universe and is thought of as a pinch hitter that aids in understanding how gravity works, is the reason why scientists hold this opinion. They assume that certain features would fall apart or dissolve without the X factor of dark matter. However, the particles we can see are unaffected by dark matter. More investigation into the dark matter was necessary because this suggests that it must also possess other distinctive qualities. Researchers from the Johannes Gutenberg University in Mainz, Germany, carried out a study to find out more about dark matter and its characteristics. This study offered a theory about unknown particles moving via a hidden fifth dimension. They made the case that the extra gravity that we currently attribute to dark matter in their study could manifest itself in our four-dimensional world as the gravity of this particle. The existence of a particle that can serve as a portal to a fifth dimension has recently been suggested by scientists in the most recent chapter of The End of the World as We Know It, 2020 to present. A recent study that supports the science fiction theory was published in the European Physical Journal C. It implies that the particle can explain dark matter, which has never been directly observed, but is assumed to be responsible for the majority of the universe's mass. According to researchers, particles can move throughout the entire cosmos, including the fifth dimension. The known four dimensions of our cosmos have long been a source of debate among scientists. The recognized four dimensions of our cosmos have long been a source of debate among scientists. These are one of time and three of space, often known as 3D up and down, left and right, back and forth. The goal of the study, according to its authors Adrian Carmona, Javier Castellano Ruiz, and Matthias Newbert, was to explain the possible origin of fermion particle masses in theories with a warped additional dimension. The scientists created a new scholar, a physical quantity characterized by its magnitude connected with the fermion which is comparable to the Higgs field and Higgs boson particle while studying the 5D equations with fermion particle masses. They found that the new scale of field exhibited a unique and fascinating behavior. In a statement, they claimed that they believed the existence of these heavy particles would add to the known and thoroughly researched visible matter as the components of dark matter. Following the binding, we base our belief in this on the hypothesis that fundamental fermions, which make up dark matter, reside in the additional dimension. In their investigation, the authors speculate that the heavy particle might be a brand new message to the dark region. Their idea even explains how much dark matter there is in the cosmos as determined by astrophysical studies. It makes it possible to identify the constituents of dark matter in more intriguing ways. By making a detour into the extra dimension at the very beginning of our universe's history when the dark matter was created to learn more about the mechanics of the dimensions. After years of potential validation of the team's theoretical expectations, chief researcher Matthias Newbert of the study announced their discovery. He said they now have faith in the mechanism he and his team discovered. He continued, We are sure that the process will make dark matter accessible to future studies due to properties of a new interaction between ordinary matter and dark matter. 
It can be predicted precisely within our theory and would be mediated by our suggested particle. Therefore, although forming a hypothesis about the particle and its masses is only the beginning, we hope that the new particle may be detected first through its interactions with the dark sector, or the simple portion, to put it another way. Now scientists have to look for it. The Large Hadron Collider, the biggest and most potent particle accelerator in the world, made the Nobel Prize winning discovery of the Higgs boson. Although the Higgs boson was only discovered in 2012, the theory behind it was initially proposed in 1964. Unfortunately, the Large Hadron Collider is not large enough or powerful enough to discover this new particle because it is too heavy for existing colliders. However, the researchers who came up with this study are keeping their fingers crossed that the party can be found more covertly. They think that the cosmic history of our universe may be significantly impacted by this new particle. Additionally, they think it might produce gravitational waves that could be picked up by a gravitational wave detector. Speaking of dark matter, Hubble Space Telescope research has found a piece that the theory of dark matter has been missing. Astronomers recently studied 11 galaxy clusters and found that cluster galaxies produce 10 times more gravitational lensing effects than expected from cosmological simulations. Scientists investigated the phenomenon as a result, and they concluded that dark matter halos are bigger and denser than what the current cosmological model predicts. In 1933, Fritz Sweedy, a Swiss astronomer working at the California Institute of Technology, noticed something odd while observing the Coma Galaxy Cluster. The component galaxies were moving too quickly for the cluster to remain whole, based on the analysis of visible mass. The immense gravitational attraction that holds galaxies together can only be explained by a minuscule amount of invisible substance. After that encounter, researchers looked into the phenomenon and determined that the substance was dark because it was unable to emit or absorb any kind of light. The only way to know it was there was by gravitational interaction with ordinary objects. Since then, further study has been done on this so-called dark matter. According to observations from numerous studies, this odd phenomenon accounts for about 75% of the universe's stuff, which is a large portion. In the traditional cosmological model, it is referred to as cold dark matter. The actual makeup of the massive, weakly interacting particles that make up cold dark matter is unclear. In this CDM scenario, gravitationally bound dark matter halos would form a hierarchical structure. The largest systems, which merge with smaller ones, would produce these dark matter halos. As they coalesce into this hierarchical structure, large dark matter halos would contain tiny substructures in the form of embedded subhalers. In this sense, galaxy clusters are analogous. They too feature enormous dark matter halos that are divided into subhalos by hundreds of galaxies. With the aid of cosmological models, careful observation and theoretical study of the evolution of these galaxy clusters in the presence of the interplay of luminous and dark matter has been conducted. The common cosmological model can be tested by scientists using the observations and comparisons. When examined through the lens of Einstein's general theory of relativity, galaxy clusters are the most fundamental formations, with a combined mass that can reach quadrillion solar masses. The light from distant galaxies is deflected by their massive mass, occasionally distorting and dividing them into several images. This phenomenon is observed using gravitational lensing. In a cluster with a higher mass density, gravitational lensing can be used to map the spatial distribution of both normal and dark matter. Understanding gravitational lensing's basic principles are not difficult. To figure out the mass distribution of the lens, scientists only need to reverse engineer the observed image distortions. A recent Hubble Space Telescope observation of 11 massive galaxy clusters resulted in the lensing of tens of imaged galaxies. The observation was made using cluster lensing and a supernova survey with Hubble and Hubble Frontier Fields. Astronomers improved their ability to detect the full distribution on the smallest scales by using the multi-unit spectroscopic explorer mounted on the very large telescope in Chile. They observed the velocity dissipation of stars in three galaxy groups using a telescope. The MAX-J1206847, MAX-J0416.1, 0.12403 and Abel S1063 clusters are among these. The momentums of the stars, which are affected by gravity, serve as a stand-in for the sub-halo masses. High-resolution mass maps of each galaxy cluster were obtained by combining gravitational lensing with galaxy kinematics measurements via the usage of reliable wide-field and an optical integrated field spectrograph. 
These maps also show that there are large dark matter sub-haulers everywhere around these classic galaxies. Due to sub-halos inside each cluster serving as smaller scale gravitational lenses nested within the big lenses, images of distant objects deformed by foreground galaxy clusters show angular separations of several tens of arc seconds. These sub-haulers may produce further local strong lensing events on smaller scales with separations of less than a few arc seconds if they are big enough and dense enough. In each of the observed clusters, these events, known as Galaxy Strong Lensing (GSL) events, were produced by scientists Lindsay's mass reconstructions. The observed cluster mass distributions were then compared to 25 hypothetical galaxy clusters that emerged in the dominant cosmological model. This comparison showed that cosmological simulations do not portray the same level of dark matter concentration at the tiniest scales. These results demonstrate that there are some components of the universe that we still don't fully comprehend. The observed number of GSL events thus defies theoretical predictions made with the conventional cosmological model. It might be an issue with the modeling techniques, or we might have assumed the characteristics of dark matter incorrectly. Simulations of the hypothetical particle did not contradict actual observational data showing the universe's abundance of dark matter. The researchers suggested that the particle could be a viable new messenger to the dark sector because of the overall consistency with empirical data and the extensive mathematical work in the study. Because of this, the scientists claimed, confirming the existence of such a novel scholar particle will offer an interesting road towards the potential finding of dark matter. This will provide us with a lot of highly helpful knowledge, especially regarding the potential mass range of dark matter and its interactions with current particle physics. The team is hopeful that their fifth dimensional concept will develop alongside advancements in particle physics and cosmology. Future studies of dark matter may also help to constrain the probability of the particle's existence. Beyond its implications for comprehending dark matter, the particle, if it exists, might create a fresh window into the early universe and shed light on long-standing scientific conundrums, like the flavor challenge or the hierarchy problem. The team suggested that one investigate the new scholar particle's potential contribution to the stabilization of the additional dimension. This might eventually result in the creation of gravitational waves and the intriguing cosmic history of the universe. Now that researchers have a clue about this fictitious particle and its fifth dimension, they must go searching for it. The Large Hadron Collider (LHC) in Switzerland finally discovered the Higgs boson in 2012, a discovery that resulted in the award of the Physics Nobel Prize. The particle suggested in the new report would be too heavy to produce in any existing facility. Thus, the LHC would not be able to search for it. The particle may be detected for a new generation of proposed colliders, including the International Linear Collider, the Compact Linear Collider, CLIC, and the Future Circular Collider. But the prospects for such a direct discovery seem very challenging, even at the high energies discussed for such a machine. 100 TeV. Even yet, the scientists think a less direct method of finding the particle would be to look for gravitational waves which are ripples in space. The researchers continued, Another option, which we did not yet examine, is that this new particle might play a significant role in the cosmic history of the universe and might emit gravitational waves that can be searched for with future gravitational wave detectors. What do you think about our findings? Plus, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Comment below and let us know what you think about dark matter.